The steering wheel will activate on the dash when it has a communication to the GPS and can find our location like right now. Green if it can engage. Okay, let's see. Let's see if Super Cruise can figure out the road splits in two. And it did it so much smoother than the Tesla. See, it's changing lanes. On its own. It decided to change lanes because I'm only going 49. So it said, oh, speed limit's 55. Let me go into slow lane on the right and see. That's so cool. The computer is so much light years ahead of Tesla. Tesla charges you ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand now for full self driving to get the more enhanced software to have it auto drive for you. Mm -hmm. But this, you saw, it just figured out and said the lane split. I'm in the left lane, but I lowered the speed to forty nine. Then it said you're doing forty nine. Go into the other lane, so it then went into the other lane automatically. No fuss, no fuss. Just it does it itself. It thinks. But that's why the future is coming up where Super Cruise, Ford, and all those things are over. They overtook Tesla because you have to pay $15,000 extra to get full self driving or $200 a month. And this, you just buy it with it if it comes with it, and that's it. And for the Hummer, I get three years of Super Cruise for free. Tesla's not going to give you three years of full self driving for free. So I wonder if the computer is actually watching all. No GPS. All... It knows it's already been mapped. Oh, so it doesn't look for road signs to it know does. how the road it does. changes. It has, run... no, it has a map of the road, but it has cameras there. It has a radar in the front, and it uses that and the ultrasonic sensors and the parking sensors to see is there anything near you, like a car in the other lane. Can you clear it? Then can you turn around? Because it puts all that together. The camera, the radar, and the ultrasonic, and the GPS to drive. See, when it works, it just works.